Hawaiian Electric employees on five islands are not expected to return to work until Friday at the earliest after the union and management finally finalized a tentative agreement late this afternoon. Tonight, we have learned some terms of the agreement that ended four days of picket lines by members of the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local 1260. KITV4's Kyoki Kerr has the details. Kyoki? Well, Paula, employees tell us the new agreement is 10 pages long. It's much longer and more detailed than the two-page agreement that union members rejected in a vote last month, a move that eventually led to the strike that began Friday afternoon as thousands of Oahu residents were without power because of stormy weather. About 9.30 this morning, striking electric company employees got word to end the picket lines because a tentative agreement had been reached. They cleared out food and drinks along with their signs and stopped picketing. At the Electrical Workers Union Hall on Baritania Street in Mo'ili'ili, negotiators for both sides sat down for a second day with a federal mediator to put the finishing touches on the agreement, covering 1,300 employees at three power companies on five islands. Hawaiian Electric President Dick Rosenblum, who had been criticized by union leaders for attending just one bargaining session of about 40 since September, was present both Sunday and Monday and made this announcement just after 5 p.m. tonight. We have jointly um, signed a tentative agreement with the union. Uh, we think it's fair to our customers. We think it's fair to our employees. IBEW business manager Lance Miyake also spoke to reporters. We addressed a number of issues, but like I say, our membership should find out first. Neither Miyake nor Rosenblum would explain the terms of the deal, saying union members needed to learn about them first before they begin ratification votes on Wednesday. But sources tell KITV4 News Hawaiian Electric Management's plan to cut pension benefits for employees 45 and under was eliminated in the agreement. Instead, pension cuts will affect only new hires. ECO's president also addressed the company's customers. We've pretty much restored all our customers from the storm over the weekend. We absolutely appreciate their patience with what we've done and really looking forward to getting all our workers back to work. Now, Lance Miyake says unionized Hawaiian Electric employees will not return to work until the contract has been ratified. And Oahu employees are the last to vote on that contract Friday, meaning Friday night or early Saturday is the earliest that they could all get back to work on the job. So, Paula, uh, HECO customers should be expecting some reduced services until then. Kilki, what else have you learned is in the contract? Pretty interesting stuff, uh, Paula. Actually, sources tell KITV4 News that the new deal is a result of a lot of compromising on both sides. For instance, sources tell us that the contract gives cost of living raises to HECO employees, but they won't be retroactive to November 1st. That's when the contract expired, as the union had wanted, and the raises will not take effect at the beginning of March, as management had proposed. Instead, those small raises will be retroactive to January 1st, essentially splitting what both sides wanted in half, Paula, right down the middle. That's an interesting thing, yeah. All right, thank you very much, sure. Kyoki.